Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. We did a ton of prankster comments last time. I'm getting tired of getting pranked. How about we do the pranking? So we finished flip swap last time. I don't know what's available. I think tall trunk. Ooh, if this is what I think it is, this. Mmm. We finished the last episode pretty quickly. And this one is not gonna happen as quick. I know that. Oh, this one sucks. I am dreading it a lot a bit. Here we go, the tall trunks purple coin slide. This one sucks. If you thought purple coins in general were bad, this one is like the, the creme de la creme of garbage for purple coins. Now, thankfully, I do believe that this star has more than a hundred. Yeah, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, let Luigi have a try. Why not? Oh boy. So yeah, like I said, I think this one does have more than a hundred. So what do you got to say for yourself, Guillermo? Okay, so he's gonna make it worth our while. That's hot. Okay, so. Like you've heard just now, there's 140. So you got a little bit of breathing room. This is just gonna take a lot of advanced nunchuck moves. Try to steer into the, the double packs if you can. So he needs 100 total. I don't know if we're on target or not, but probably not, I feel like Probably have already missed. I don't know if you... Okay, that was horrible. Just missed a ton. Okay. Doing really poorly. Great. There's, like, no real way to know if you're, like, on tap or not. Or if you've already blown it. I feel like it would be nice if it would just cut before you've gotten to the certain point of, like, hey, you screwed up, dummy. Like, you're done. The game, unfortunately, will not be doing such a kindness. Oh boy. No. <laughs> so, there we go. An instant death. So if you don't get 100 coins, straight to jail. Let's try again. The game is nice enough to spot you the four at the beginning, so I did even worse. Okay, I don't know if it's just because the controls with Luigi are kind of finicky or not. I'm gonna blame it on Luigi, but in reality, it's probably just me not being very good at this game. The nunchuck is kind of tough to steer with. My control stick is a little sticky, so... You gotta kind of wiggle back and... Wiggle your, your Wii back and forth a little bit. Actually, you're not even using the Wii mode on this one. And it's not the Wii itself. That would be like touching the entire console. That'd be insane. Okay, so... Whoop. This was the spot that I... awkwardly jumped and missed like half of the ones. This is going a lot better this time around. I don't know why, but this is what I thought Tall Trunk was the first time that we booted this star up and I was having like Vietnam level flashbacks to doing that star when I was a child. That's no disrespect to Vietnam, but man, this is up there is one of the most painful things I've ever had to do in my entire life. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> I almost had it. Give me a hundred, or I'm gonna kneecap your family in the parking lot. Man, Guillermo's are really intense. All right, third time's a try. No, third tries the charm? Okay, whatever, words. It's been a long day, get off my back. You're, you're enjoying plenty of deliciously amazing free content. There's 140, and I, I'm just trying to figure out like what's the, what's the best combination of coins to get where you're like maximizing your time. That probably wasn't it. It's just tough because I'm not 100% sure of like the, the hitboxes on the coins. Those are like really tricky for me for some reason. Ooh, I feel like I should be on the ceiling and I'm not. Oh boy. I took another route this time and it was probably gonna be my downfall here. Oof, yes. I feel like we were already in like the 70s by this point. Or it would just help if I didn't miss all of them. Oh my goodness. 
I had high hopes. You gotta have high hopes for a living. Or don't, like me. And temper your expectations about everything forever. Okay. So this is our, uh, not our worst run. We did better than the first time. Okay. Oh, so the last episode, I finished all those stars really quickly and then they decide to hit me with one of the worst to start the episode. Don't you love that? All right. Ooh. Deep breath, here we go. Let's see if we can do this on our first try. Getting these early ones is pretty important, I think, to solidify confidence. And really, like, I think the big thing is, like, you just don't really have to move that much. If you overcompensate, like I do for pretty much everything in my life, that's what can cause you trouble. So just don't do that. And I think it's all about pathing. If you pick... Oh, boy. That double... That set of double uh, coins is pretty good. You'll want to... Oof. Not die in the process of collecting. That'd be bad. But I think that's kind of it, is like, the path you choose is obviously really important. You want to go the area with the most coins. I feel like when I did this initially in the, as a youth, the thing that I struggled with was staying on course. Like, I wound up dying a lot, because I just couldn't keep it together. Ugh. Second best effort. Ugh. Hang in there, everybody. It'll happen. I feel it. You get one short episode, and then one disgustingly long episode. Is there... Okay, I was just making sure there weren't any, like, hidden ones that are at the beginning that would make my life a lot easier. There's definitely, like, an optimal path for this. I guarantee that, you know, if I was a speedrunner, as I made fun of last time, if I was a speedrunner, that I would know exactly what path to take, but I don't, because I am not the smartest. I don't know if... Gathering the double pack is the best that way. I just kind of wiggle back and forth, but there's probably much better technique that I could be using that will get me there. Whatever gets me there the fastest. I'm always just trying to finish. Ooh, I passed on the double stack again. That was probably not the best idea. There's only 40 that you can miss. And having those double chunks add up really fast. This does not feel like a like a winning combination, I would say. But we're still gonna try. Okay. You just gotta get the easy ones. Oh no! <laughs> okay, I mean, so that proves that you can, you can skip the double stack and still come out on top. All right. I'm feeling very confident. I know that this is my first try at this level, but, you know. Sometimes you just go into it just kind of having like the innate ability to do really well. It's like this forethought of like, you've already done it, but like you haven't, you've never actually really done it yet, but you feel confident like that you can take on anything pretty much. Okay, that was a really good grab of the doubles. For some reason, I just felt like I don't like I've been here before. It's like a little bit of purple coin deja vu, perhaps. We don't even need to get that double stack, as we've proven before in a past life. So, yeah, don't worry about it. Let's get the ones you can. Getting the obvious ones ob obviously helps. Don't let the game fool you into thinking you need to do something that's a little bit trickier. It's trying to bait you into avoiding the easy gimme coins. You want the gimme coins. Gimme the coins. Oops, I missed all those. And we already did it. Look at that. Above and beyond, A plus work. These call me sweetie. Don't you dare call me sweetie. Okay, that first draw only took nine minutes. That's great. Hopefully we don't have to do any more purple coin missions like that. Oh, first try though. Man, that was stressful. But we're back, as Luigi. Two stars for Luigi. By the end of this episode, we'll have 40 stars.
ghost in Tall Trunk Galaxy. Seems like we're still at the prankster game. I don't know what causes the game to do this. Okay, great. You don't have to tell me this every time, Luigi. Just back off. If I want you involved, I'll invite you. We're gonna go ahead and ignore Lubba. He's just trying to really harsh our buzz right now and like crush our vibe. So we'll see. There are comments that we have to do for this world and then I don't know. I mean, it might just send us to do all the comments of levels past. This is like a blast from the past. The recent, present, pat, future, okay. The Hightail Falls speed run. This one should be pretty cool. You get to use the pepper power up, the Yoshi's spicy pepper power up. And there's meatballs all along the way trying to inhibit our progress. But because it's a speed run, we're gonna have to go quick. You have three minutes. A little more generous than, ooh, I almost fell in that. <laughs> Almost fell in that hole there. It'd be kind of cool though if the the meatballs that are excuse you. Also, I love the the kissing. I love that in the background. A little asthma for you. I wish that the kind of asteroids or meteorites or sorry astrology astrology astronomy nerds. That probably just made people more offended than what I was about to say. Sorry astronomy nerds. I don't know exactly if those are. Asteroids, meteor, meteorites, meteoroids, hemorrhoids, whatever they are, I don't know. I just don't know. Sue me. Okay, so we gotta go quick. Unfortunately, not a pepper in sight yet. Until now, let's do it. Spicy pepper, the spicy pepper power up. I actually would like to say that very clinically. The spicy pepper power up is one of my favorites, oh boy. Oh man, that flutter jump gets you up high. We get high with Yoshi and we like that. Okay, so do we have another one? Yes. It's kind of tough to see what... Okay. <laughs> Interrupted me as I was trying to say. It's a little tough. Oh, and it spits you all the way back out here. Boo! It's kind of tough to see what plane the meatballs are falling on, if I'm being completely honest and making excuses for myself. Okay, so we're back at it, guys. We're doing it. We're killing it. As... Delicious meats. Spherical meats rain down from the heavens. Actually a pretty fun level, all things considered. Using Yoshi. I don't mean that in, like, the helpful way. Like, literally using him. We're users. Using Yoshi is very fun. And uh, yeah, the pepper power up, the spicy pepper power up. That's my broadcast voice. It's very good. You can get quite some distance on uh, the hippity hops there. Nope. So we're almost done. Let's see if we can avoid getting balls to the face. Gotta go up and around. You basically just have a have a pretty good amount of self-awareness. Dodge the non-consensual kisses. Okay, where is the next platform? Oh, it's these. No, 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 no. Oh boy, I saved it. Oh man. Alright. That was oof. I was pretty nervous there. Alright, here we go. We should just be able to steer, hopefully, into the star. Mwah! Beautiful. Chef's kiss. That's two stars, ladies and gentlemen. Two sort of tough stars. I'm just glad the purple coin woman was out of the way. It's paced in this game, at least, so they, like, throw in the occasional purple coin instead of me saving all of them for the end, which I'm sure was probably miserable to watch. That's my fault for being a dummy. Definitely trying to pace this out a little bit better, and I don't know... Okay, it hasn't thrown me any more prankster comments, so I don't think we have any more to do. We're definitely not done with the places we've gone and the places we will go. 
Let's see what unlocking this warp pipe does. I don't know. Oh, it takes you right to the boss if you're a little baby. But we're not. We're gonna start off with some freezy flight. Wait. Yeah, we can finish Haunty Halls next. But first, some freezy flight, Galaxy. There might be some pranks or comments that happen next time around. Bowser on ice. I always remember in my area, usually like once a winter, they bring the Disney on ice to the local skating venue. Oh, this music is delightful. And um, yeah, my niece, my nieces and nephews, they love it, but I think it's terrifying. Okay, so we're gonna use our firepower and blow up these monuments to evil. Oh, rabbits, get out of here. I'm trying to gamble, I don't need your stupid selves ruining my vibe. And what'd we get? Nice, a coin. Oh, that's a lot of coins, Never mind. Okay, so I know we need to blow up this Bowser statue. Let's do that real quick before we run out of power. Gotta fire away. There we go. And let's get it moving. It's time to go slip sliding away. I don't know if there's a coin luma around here or not. It's making me think that there is, because... Oops. I mean... There's a lot of these things out here that are... Stop it. I remember... Oh, get out of here. There's a lot of coin opportunities... Early, and it's making me very suspicious. I'm gonna collect as many as I can. I don't know, also, while I'm thinking about it, because my train of thought is a choo-choo-chewing, is, uh, yeah. This music makes me think of kind of Animal Crossing, for some reason, the, not this music, the basic music. Can I just, excuse me, excuse me, there we go. That's all I needed to do, right? Oh, there's a coin over there I missed, no! There's gotta be a coin loom around here, right? Okay, so here's a new, gimmick, if you want to call it that. You need to push these big balls across the way as they slowly melt and create a little bit of a platform, but be wary. You'll, you will run out of space eventually, but it replenishes. What's back here? Are there more coins here? Nope. Disturbance. All right, so let's keep them moving here. Kind of hard to steer. Is this all I needed to do? Come to oh, I need a fire flower. I need a fire flower. Where do I get one? Over here. Yeah, this definitely sounds like very Animal Crossing-y, and I feel like Animal Crossing music. Oh my gosh! Stop! Stop! Quit! Just stop! I don't. I don't want to deal with your business. You and your shenanigans. Okay, so no coin limo. Oh, huh, that's a little disappointing. Whatever. We'll roll with it. We can't really force the prankster comets, so it is what it is. You just have to kind of deal with it, I guess. Sorry. Sorry. We're not really racking up too many star bits, but we're going about to eat a ton of them. Ooh, it opens up another galaxy. That's actually really good. Oh no. That's one of those galaxies that I believe... If you remember the challenge galaxies, the green star galaxies from... Uh... Did I not get the comment? I didn't, but there's another star. Thankfully. So we should have enough stars next time around to do the hungry chubby luma we're gonna sneak down the creepy corridor. Is that what they call it nowadays? Is that what kids these days are doing? They're always sneaking down those creepy corridors. Make sure you're protected while you're sneaking. Wrap it up. So, the, uh, yeah, we'll have enough stars to have a pretty thorough 10th episode. Is that what it'll be? Actually, why am I not getting these? What am I doing? I'm about to cash in a bunch of my, or I mean the Luma is about to greedily demand my star bits. Should really be prioritizing getting more. 
you can get about 100 per level, that's good, usually. These are the pumpkin, yeah, these are... Okay, that's not it. So we got a Luma spin into him. Only downside is that you gotta hit them three times to get their gooey candies. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. How on earth does the game expect you to feasibly do this? That is, that's insane. Who's got time for that? What does this say? Tee hee hee! Oh boy. We're in a rundown, we're in a bit of a pickle here. Some big booze. Some nice big round booze. You know how I feel about that. Oh. <laughs> Apparently you can't just jump to that. Alright, lesson learned. Whoops. You got a long jump, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's so sad. And we got the chompers. Munch and carpet. Whatever you're into. Do what you love. So the coins are... Oh my... <laughs> How was I supposed to see that? That's rude. On the final star of the game. Today's episode of the game, not the game itself. Wow, they only put 40 stars in this one. That's really underwhelming. That's, th that's two-thirds less stars than the last one. Well, they're on a bit of a uh, time crunch, and you know how things go. No. You're getting the full, full allotment of stars. Come on. What in the good gosh dang? You saw that. That's BS, whatever. Okay. We'll try again. I don't really understand the prevalence of, of the coins beyond like coin lumas, but as far as I know, those only exist in Galaxy Universe. That's it. Like, not beyond that. You can't use them as currency or anything, so I don't quite get it. I don't know. I'm thinking too hard about it. I don't ever do that though, so I guess it's okay to overthink as a snack, right? Especially overthinking about the past. That is something I definitely don't do. Whoa, okay. And they're just really going for it. That was getting a little precarious. I have a feeling this, if it's got a uh, prankster comet, this will be the level that it forces me to do. And it's gonna be probably pretty brutal. But we're doing well on star bits, making up for the... Oh, he's back. I don't know what the color of these platforms mean. Okay. That was a little anticlimactic. <laughs> That's fun. Another shorter episode, not as short as the last one. Still legally able to see over the steering wheel, but... Okay. Well. We snuck down that creepy corridor. We have 40 stars! Holy moly! And a bunch of coins that I don't know if that matters. Let's go ahead and deposit our healthy earnings with Bank Toad. We almost have 2,000. Almost. Yeah, you look like a ding dong. Anyway, well, that's it for the day, everybody. We're a third of the way through this game that you know of. But thanks for watching. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2. I've been D Mike, and I'll see you later. Bye.